Uh, welcome to another episode. This will be a series of short questions, short videos. Now, the question says, rationalize this sort. Now, to rationalize, if you want to use your hand to solve this first, to rationalize, you have to solution 2 root 2 minus root 3 all over root 2 plus root 3. You will have to multiply the both numerator and denominator by your denominator conjugate. Now, what is the conjugate here? Your conjugate will be your denominator, but in opposite side, and that will be root 2 minus root 3. So, as you can see, assuming your denominator is plus now, is minus, so your conjugate will be plus. Now, you are you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by your conjugate. So, we have root 2 minus root 3, root 2 minus root 3, multiply both numerator. Now, this will become 2 root 2 minus root 3, this bracket, root 2 minus root 3. So, we have to multiply. So, multiply by this, this one, multiply by this. Now, root 2 plus root 3, then to bracket root 2 minus root 3. Now, if you check this, 2 root 2 multiplied by root 2, that will be 2 times 1 here, that will be 2. Then root 2 times root 2 will be equal to what, 2. But because of some people, let's do it as root 4. 2 root 2 multiplied by root 2 give us 2 root 4. Then 2 root 2 multiplied by root 3 will give us, multiplied by minus root 3 will give us minus 2 root 6. Because 2 times 3 will give us 6. Minus root 3 times root 2, that will be minus root 6. Minus root 3 times minus root 3, that will be minus times minus will be plus. Then root 3 times root 3 will give us root 9. Though, on a shortcut format, root 3 times root 3 will give us 3. But no problem. Now, if you have this, even this one has a shortcut, though after this class, after this normal method I'm using, I'll use a shortcut for you. Root 3, root 2 times root 2 will give us root 4. Root 2 times minus root 3 will give us minus root 6. Root 3 times root 2 will give us plus root 6. Root 3 times minus root 3 will give us minus root 9. Now on the norms, root 4 will give us 2. That will be 2 times 2. Then minus root, minus 2 root 3, minus 2 root 6, minus root 6. This one has 1 here. So that means we have minus 2 root 6 minus 1 root 6. That's minus 3 root 6. Plus root 9 will give us 3. All over. We have root 4 to be 2. Minus root 6 plus root 6 we cancel. So this one is out. The minus root 9 will be what? Will be 3. Now finally we have 2 times 2 to be 4. Minus 3 root 6 plus 3. All over 2 minus 3 will be minus 1. We now have this, we have it to be 4 plus 3, that's 7. So that's 7 minus 3 root 6 all over minus 1. Now, if we check this very well, we can divide both numerator with the what with the denominator. So this will become 7 over minus 1 minus 3 root 6 over minus 1. We check this, this will become minus 1. Minus will affect this, minus will be plus. And that will be plus 3 root 6. So this is the final answer. Minus 7. Minus 7 plus 3 root 6. Now minus 7 plus 3 root 6. If we check, which one is equal to this in the question? Now you observe that the correct answer is what? Option B. Why? If we check this, the units for, they just interchange, but they also have their units and they also have their a sign right now. The sign of 3 root 6 is plus. So they just put it to be plus 3 root 6. And the sign of 7 is what? Is minus. So that's why we have it to be minus 7. So that's what happened. So that's why the final answer is 3 root 6 plus 7. And that's option B, not option C, because the sign for 7 is not plus. So it cannot be plus 7. So the sign for 7 is what? Is minus. So that's why. Now let me go to step two. Step two of this question says, 
So I want to use the same question, but I want to follow another process, like the same process, rationalization. Now this, you have root 2 plus root 3. Then you have to multiply all three by what? By the conjugate. You know how we got our conjugate. Now you have to be very patient because after this step 2, I'll go to step 3, which is the calculator method. Now once you have this, let us multiply. If you want to multiply this, now this will be 2 root 2 minus root 3 multiplied by root 2 minus root 3. All over this one will be root 2 plus root 3 into bracket root 2 minus root 3. Now see the shortcut I want to use here. 2 root 2 here multiplied by root 2 will give us 2 here times 1 here. You know this one, the coefficient of this one is 1. That will be 2 times 1, that is 2. And multiply by root 2 times root 2 will give us 2 as well. If we don't know this method, follow the previous method. The 2 root 2 times minus root 6, minus root 3. That will be 2 here times the coefficient here. That is minus 1. And minus 2 rather. 2 times 1 here. Because this one is 1. So 2 times 1 here, that is 2. So that is minus 2 because of this minus. Then root 2 times root 3 will give us root 6. Minus root 3 times root 2 will give us minus root 6. Minus root 3 times minus root 3. Minus times minus will be plus. Then root 3 times root 3 will be what? Will be 3. That's according to the law. Root 4 times root 4 will be, will be what? Will be 4. Root 8 times root 8 will be 8. Root 7 times root 7 will be 7. So that's it. Now this one, there's a shortcut that says, if you have something like this, root A plus root B, multiply by root A minus root B. Your answer is equal to A minus B. Or if you have root A minus root B, in the bracket root A plus root B, your answer is still A minus B. So the formula is the first number. You can see that this, the numbers here and the numbers here are the same. But the only difference is what the sign in between. So the law says you just pick the first number, which is A, minus the second number, which is B. So now, in the same thing with this. So this one will be 2 minus 3. So that's it. So we now check this 2 times 2 will be 4. Minus 2 root 6 minus 1 root 6 will give us minus 3 root 6. Then plus 3. All over 2 minus 3 is what? Minus 1. If we check this, we have this to become 4 plus 3. That is 7 minus 3 root 6. All over minus 1. Then we can divide both sides by the what? By the denominator here. And the denominator is minus 1. So we have 7 over minus 1 minus 3 root 6 over minus 1. This one will become 7 divided by minus 1 will be minus 7. Minus divided by minus will be what? Will be plus. So we have plus 3 root 6. So this is the final answer. Minus 7 plus 3 root 6. And we even interchange like the previous one. We have plus 3 root 6 minus 7. So which makes B to be the answer. Now let me get to the calculator method. Now we check this very well, please. You have to be very patient. This is the step 2. This is step 2. Now let's get to the calculator method. For the calculator method, assuming you are given the question like this, you just, you are given the question like this, rationalize this, and these are the options. I don't need to solve before I just find my words, my answer. All you need to just do is that press the, press the question as you are given, and that's all. So let's proceed. I have the fracture button, and at the numerator I have 2, at the numerator I have 2, root of 2, press the forward direction, minus root 3. The reason why I press the forward direction is that so that this minus root 3 will not be under the square root of 2. Then come to downward direction. I have root 2, then plus root 3. What's the answer? If we check, the value here is what? Minus 7 plus 3 root 6. Minus 7 plus 3 root 6. So which is what? Which is the option? So I have minus 7 plus 3 root 6. And what's the sign for 3 root 6 is what plus? And the sign for 7 is what minus? So it's not this one because the sign for 7 here is minus and the sign for my 3 root 6 is plus. So they interchange it just to, even if you press on your calculator, you express this in decimal. Can you see? The expression of this one in decimal is 0 0.3484. 
Let us see. If you now express option B in decimal, that will be 3 root 6 minus 7 in decimal. Press equals to the same thing with the question we just have now. But if you express option C, that will be 7 minus 3 root 6. It cannot be the same thing. Can you see? It's minus. This one has minus. So which is not the same thing. So, and as you can see, once you get it on the calculator like this, just know that the, sim the sign for 7 is minus. So which this one has minus. But in this one, it is plus, so it's not. So, and the symbol for 3 root 6 is plus in our right question. And it's only this one that is plus 3 root 6. But this one is plus. It's minus here. But here is what? It's plus. So, that makes option B to be what the correct answer. Thank you very much. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on calculator and shortcuts. Thank you very much. I mean, inshallah, the blessing. Popular known as Dina David.